Hi, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Virginia Geological Field Conference Virtual Field Experience on Corridor H. Uh, my name is Alan Pitts, just to give a little introduction. I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Camerino in Italy. And uh, my background with Corridor H and Appalachian Geology is that uh, I spent a couple of years working on this, both as a research assistant to Callan Bensley and as an intern to Dan Doctor at the USGS. And hi, everybody. I'm Callan Bentley. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of geology at Piedmont Virginia Community College in Charlottesville. And I have been taking students uh, out to Corridor H uh, in my previous position at Northern Virginia Community College for many years, for um, probably half a dozen years. And we have been building up a big repository of imagery from that highway that we'll share with you in this virtual field experience. And greetings, everyone. My name is Dan Doctor. I'm a geologist with the US Geological Survey. I started visiting Corridor H about a decade ago, around 2010. Um, I've seen the highway get closer and closer to bits and pieces being more and more complete since then. Um, I've been mapping the sedimentary, sedimentary stra uh, strata of the Paleozoic in Virginia and West Virginia for, for much of that time. And uh, I look forward to sharing some of those uh, interpretations with you all. Now, it's not just Dan and Alan and I who've uh, contributed to what you're about to experience. This virtual field experience organizes contributions from many other people, including Robin Rohrbach from Northern Virginia Community College, Marissa Dudek, formerly at NOVA and now at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, a couple of folks from the University of Maryland, Jay Kaufman and John Merck, and um, we have contributions from Pete Berquist from Thomas Nelson Community College, Ryan Shackleton, formerly of West Virginia University, and then a couple of folks from the West Virginia Geologic and Economic Survey, and that would be Jim Britton and Mitch Blake. Additionally, we have uh, appreciated support from the USGS, from the National Science Foundation's uh, geode grant that I got a few years ago. Um, and, and the Virginia Community College System has supported this work through the Chancellor's Commonwealth Professorship. Northern Virginia Community College supported it with the Presidential Sabbatical. And the University of Maryland's uh, Provost Innovation Grant also supported some of the video content that you'll see. So to get you oriented, what we're going to do is Alan's going to show you some of the uh, technical details about how to navigate this virtual field experience. This is just a brief overview to give you an introduction to uh, the type of content that we've organized inside this virtual field experience and how to navigate through this so that you can see uh, all of the great things that we've put inside here. First of all, uh, this project is developed inside the web-based Google Earth browser. So this is not the desktop version of Google Earth, which uh, is now Google Earth Pro, but this is all inside the Google Earth uh, web-based edition. So it, it looks and feels like Google Earth that you might have been using on your desktop. A lot of the general navigation controls are the same as far as panning and zooming. Uh, by clicking shift, you can orbit around and look at the terrain in 3D. And as you see, there's, there's quite a lot of content in here. And so the best way to do this is to come inside and at, at each one of these stops, the, the, the trip has been organized into six major stops. And then each side, inside each stop are a number of features relating to that stop. We'd, we'd encourage you to start each stop by clicking on the large numbered icon that you'll see where there is a video, a brief introduction to the content you'll see, and some other directions that will help you get through. From there, you can toggle through the features using the arrows down here on the lower left. Uh, these arrows will move you through the content as we have ordered it. 
or you can also simply move around independently and click on the different features in map view. Just to give you an introduction to the different type of content that's inside here, there are uh, videos that we've recorded at the outcrop with uh, different presenters, different speakers. There are outcrop gigapans. So by clicking on one of these and following the link, it will uh, bring you to a gigapan image, which is inside Giga Macro. And with these, you can then zoom in and out on the outcrop and investigate both large scale and small scale features. You'll notice that down on the right, there is a dynamically scaled, um, a dynamic scale that changes at different levels of zoom. And in case you're curious about certain features, you can also come inside and use this measurement tool to get a better feel of uh, the size and dimensions of uh, different aspects of the outcrop. Additionally, there are also gigapans that have been created uh, of hand samples at the small scale. So by clicking on one of these, uh, you'll go in to look at a uh, giga macro of hand samples where you can zoom in really closely and see down to the uh, individual sort of grain scale. If I leave this, we can also, these yellow lines are indicating uh, key contacts between the stratigraphic units. These larger, um, these larger lines here are marking the uh, axes of large scale regional structures. At, at each one of these stops, there's also a, a 3D geological map, which has the uh, LIDAR and uh, geology placed over top of the terrain. Uh, this is a, a 3D model, and, and for these, it's best to uh, put these in full screen, and by clicking and dragging, you can explore, moving around, uh, looking at the area, and seeing both the, the contacts and the geology, the structural data points, and the, the terrain. And there's, there's just one more feature that I'd like to draw your attention to, and that is some of these 3D outcrop models. They're uh, noted by these, this little 3D block symbol and by following these, they'll take you uh, again to sketchfab.com. And these are 3D outcrop models that have been generated either by ground-based or UAV-based photogrammetry. So by looking at one of these, uh, you'll be able to actually uh, navigate around in a 3D environment of the uh, different outcrops. Sorry. And then I think that is all the features uh, that, that you need to know about. Each one of these stops um, as, a, as a final ending point, and then you can move to the, to the next major stop. To preserve some of the feel of an actual field trip, we've also included a handful of little uh, drive-by sites. So in between the major stops, if there's a feature that uh, on an ordinary field trip, the, the leader would wave out the window and say, if you look over to the right, you'll see the contact between such and such and as you're zooming by at 55 miles per hour. We've preserved that by adding in a few of those as well that aren't part of these six major stops, um, but they're sort of too good to pass up. And on that note, we've also got a bunch of other extra, you will see the term extras that may relate to the stops, but they are actually on a different part of the highway. Um, not exactly drive-bys in the sense that you may not be able to see it if you were driving by, but worth exploring to get a little bit more context of how what is shown at an individual stop can be seen in other places along the trip route. 
Yeah, one of the most extraordinary things about Corridor H is because of Appalachian mountain building, because of the Allegheny and Orogeny, this Paleozoic section that we have exposed on the highway that ranges from the Silurian all the way up to the Pennsylvanian, it's been folded and faulted. So many of the different geologic units we'll look at on this virtual field experience repeat. And sometimes they'll be dipping to the east and sometimes they'll be dipping to the west and sometimes they'll be more or less horizontal near the axes of these major folds. Uh, so it's actually really nice to see these familiar friends once you meet them at different points along the highway. Well, we hope you enjoy this tour of Corridor H. We hope you can get out there in person and enjoy it uh, in its full glory, in reality, in person, as much as we have over these many years. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> See you on the outcrop next year. <laughs>